the subject of products liability, we represented a, a young wife. Uh, her husband had an insulin pump and it had been recently recalled. Um, it had a problem with it all right. And after investigating, we felt like it was pretty clear that that insul insulin pump's failure caused his death. He died during his sleep. He was a young man, had a bunch of kids, and it was a devastating body blow to that wife and those children. We were able to investigate and determine uh, through the use of appropriate expert witness testimony that it was the product that actually killed this gentleman. And we were fortunately able to resolve that uh, before having to go to trial. But we've handled innumerable products cases from, I've had uh, all kinds of oil field devices, packers, blowout preventers, uh, tubing and pipe that has failed. We've done a lot of products liability in the oil field setting because Oklahoma is a, is a major oil and gas producing state. So we see a awful lot of that kind of thing. We've had also vehicular products cases. We've had parts of automobiles or trucks that have failed, rigs have fallen over, all those kinds of things. You know, we've had uh, a trailer, for example, it's pending right now. A trailer came loose and went across the interstate and hit a totally innocent couple driving down the road. Very serious injuries. And we believe that product is defective. Now, we'll see how that turns out. It's in the very early stages. But behind every accident, there's either somebody that did something wrong, uh, and it could be either side, or something went wrong with the product. And that just takes a lot of hard work and you gotta have the right expert witnesses to help you figure out what happened. And then you gotta present it to the jury in a way that makes sense.